All right, folks, welcome back to the winner's bracket finals. Best of three to determine which of these two goes through the qualifier into the main event. Just had a really awesome game, number one, and we are now hopping into map number two. It's 1-0 in the favor of this guy spawning in the top right corner of the map. He also has about 2,600 per twos bet on him. It's Journey. In the bottom left has the Red Terran. It's beyond. He's actually got 8,065 Fartoofs bet on him, so heavy, heavy beyond favoritism here in the finals. And I don't blame anybody because that's exactly the same way I would vote as well. Even in that last game, he did look like he was going to take control and then just lost it with one bad fight, really. He had his economy back up, he had his production back up, but took a pretty odd, terrible fight. Uh, Dust Towers. He's a pretty big map. It has that in-pocket expansion. They have been playing fairly uh, macro-oriented these last three games. Or, last two games. This is the third one. Counting. Wait, hey, what? They've been playing fairly macro-oriented in the last two games. It's been one it's game. One oh, game? Oh, because you're back into the previous series. Okay. I was like, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> last two games in game two. Quick. Shut up. So, Whatever, man. Of the new tile sets, what 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 do you think? Like, I mean, this is the, like the what the more Nerezim sort of looking one, I guess. Like, what do you think of the new tile sets for the maps? I don't really care. I yeah. actually, I really like the way the purifier one looks. The uh, the whole white, orange, and black theme. Is, I, I like the color appeal of that quite a bit, actually. That one might look good, but I can't remember it right now. Um, not a fan of the iron one personally not, not yet at least we've yet to see a really cool map this one's kind of cool too reminds me a little bit of dead wing but there's actually that one map that is dead wing tile set as well i don't like the dark maps to be honest they just make me feel like like heavy and bogged down i we haven't had a map like you're ohana too, you're too emotionally invested in the map zombie girl <laughs> i really am we haven't had a map like uh, ohana or uh, belshire beach i mean catalina kind of got Ooh. close yeah, I like I like Belshire Beach actually quite a bit. I forgot about the Belshire Winter was awesome actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We haven't really had any of those, uh, I guess, vacation <laughs> tile sets. <laughs> so it's a funny way to phrase that, but yeah, I, I can see what you mean. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I so I'd forgotten about this. I talked about this before you got your computer up and running. I because we have spent what was the last year in the beta, we were so limited on what we could do for StarCraft. We couldn't use any map we wanted. We had no map mods available to us. But now that this is the finals, I was wondering, should we go back and like revise the map pool for the grand finals, make it a couple of TBT more oriented maps? So less things like Dusk Towers and more things like Metropolis. Oh my god. All the players will probably hate you for it. Oh, oh, almost certainly, no question about it. I, for that reason alone, I might not even do it, but I just realized, like, it dawned on me we have the opportunity to do that again, right? Because it's not been since Hell It's a Boot time that we could even play with the map pool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. It'd be funny, but I don't know if it'd be funny. You know what we could do? If, like, people get really upset, we'd just be like, it's an experiment for the greater good. They see the void. It's what maps work and what maps don't. Well, Medivac possibly coming across the map here. Uh, gonna get not scouted, unfortunately. The Reaper's not gonna quite hit this mark, so not gonna see the Widowmine and the Marines. Widowmine's somewhat unconventional. When you're playing against Beyond, as said before, you kind of expect the Banshee 99% of the time. Not this time, though. And uh, he's still gonna have the Raven, so detection's not gonna be the problem here, but that Widowmine snaps off. A lot of these SCVs already softened up from the Reaper earlier. Couple of Marines get some shots. That's a lot of dead workers. Yeah, if the Marines get into the heart of the mineral. Oh no! Why? 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 Oh my god, that killed six SCVs! A one of mine barely kills anything. It kills one SCV most of the time, so six is 600% more damage. Oh my god. There's no reason to pre rest the back like that. Oh, I think god. he thought the tank was gonna fire off one more time and be safe. I don't blame him. That, that was pretty close on the timing. But Beyond takes a very nice lead with a very small drop. Wow. Uh, other side of the map, the Reaper does try and dive in. It doesn't see much, but it does actually scout two tanks and no tech lab on the starport. So no follow-up Banshee, because again, that's another thing Beyond's fairly well known for. 
being down 1-0 in the series, though, this is definitely a great way for him to open map number two. We got two big drops coming across the map. The third medevac turning around as we speak as well. There's tanks in these ones. Mm. Yan does like this drop. This drop specifically. Um, but on Dust Towers, uh, there's not... It wasn't abusable like it was on Orbital Shipyard. Uh, there's a lot of dead space to the left, so the concave should be in favor of Journey. Oh, but it's feeling on top, top of a tank. Of a tank. Oh That's a God. nice start. That's a That's really huge. nice And he's going to be camping in production of the other tank, too. Ooh. A couple of speeds get picked off. A lot of them were still broken up. What am I Any shot? other tanks? I don't think he does. No, there's... auto turrets, though. Auto turrets might just break this. It's going to be questionable. He's going to get some good damage in with this, but is it enough? And it's not looking like that's going to be the case. One tank comes out with GG. Map wow. 2 quickly goes to beyond. So much for macro-oriented. Well, that game was too quick. I would feel way too guilty.